Well, the time keeps on moving, doesn't it? Delaying that strike that the US wants to carry out in Assyria, and that gives Bashar al-Assad's regime in Damascus time to prepare, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does. So what is going to happen with the U.S., a possible U.S. or international mission? Joining us, retired General Russell Honore, who, of course, as we all know, commanded the military response to Hurricane Katrina, has been in the military for some 37 years. And, General, good to see you as always. I imagine that you're looking at the map, as we are too, and wondering about these reports of President Assad moving things around, military positions, equipment, things that would likely be targeted. How does this complicate things now that there's a delay? Well, uh, it does because he this disrupt his battle uh, with the uh, rebels and the freedom fighters, and he goes to hiding his delivery systems as well as possibly hiding his aircraft and trying to mask any ammo dumps he might have and protecting those chemical weapons that he has uh, stashed away for future use. So it provides an opportunity on the other side for the freedom fighters uh, the, uh, so they can get resupplied, so they can take care of their wounded and get in a position to better uh, protect themselves. And it also gives the United States and the Allies the opportunity to resupply them and get everybody on board with what's going to happen as far as how do we help them sustain themselves and how do we take care of all those refugees, Suzanne, that mm -hmm. you was talking about in the last segment. Yeah, huge, huge issue. You know, when it, when it comes to, and we've seen this before in past wars, Saddam Hussein did it, move stuff into civilian areas. I mean, the targets are obviously things like uh, uh, munitions, supplies and uh, artillery pieces, uh, airfields and the like. Would you agree with that sort of targeting? And how easy is it to move those artillery pieces into a neighborhood well we've seen them do it very effectively the difference now Michael than when we did this with Saddam when I was directly involved with two men who were leading this fight the CENTCOM commander General Lawson and General Dempsey the chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff in 1999 they have a lot of experience as well as the United States Navy along with the Air Force and our reconnaissance ability to sort of see what's going on not with a hundred percent accuracy but with enough assurance that they can figure out what are the high-value targets, what are the ones they want to avoid, because we've been, the experience show that they will put those inside of containment areas, inside a mosque, inside of churches, inside a school building. So we've been through all those tricks, and the United States Navy targeting team that's setting off the coast there, they know what they're doing. I got faith in the Navy and our targeteers down there at CITCOM that they'll do the right thing. Mm. So one thing I don't understand, General, if maybe you can help us understand this, is the president says there's, it's not time sensitive, that it could happen in a day or, or a week or, or a month. So what would be the trigger point where the U.S. Would, would act? Would they find something or see something and then they would go in right away? Yes, yeah, Susanna, uh, that, that's a good point. I think what people need to uh, get a grip with, we're, we're trying to hold this standard of a strike against Assad because he has used chemical weapons to a declaration of war where we got the 82nd Airborne is going to be dropped in, the 18th Airborne Corps is following, the Special Operations Troops going in, every carrier we got. This is not that type of operation, which I think the White House has tried to put in context for the American people. This is a strike because this man used chemical weapons against his people. What that will give us the opportunity to do, and time is on our side, not on his side. Time for the rebels to resupply, time for us to get them some of the special munitions, time for what's happening on the sideline. We don't know everything and who the president is talking mm -hmm. to. There are other people who may come to this and bring capacity to the rebels that they don't have now. And this will give them time to better defend themselves. So I think time is on our side, not on Assad's side. All right. General Russell, honor. good to see you as always. We appreciate your perspective as well. Interesting hearing the president earlier today talk about degrading Assad's uh, military capabilities, but if he's moved it around, how, how hard is that going to be as time goes on? And also around the world, Dennis